Hello traders, FSPipcolette here. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro-US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I do believe this first move up most likely is a wave A. The wave A probably is over. We're probably already going down to make a wave B, which would be a crutch into the wave A, and eventually head back up to make a wave C. I still believe this is all going to be a crutch into the last move down. It's going to end up bouncing off a of level and eventually making a continuation of the downtrend so let's take it down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame is where you can see the higher highs higher lows this whole way up i think it's all part of a wave a like i said i think the wave a is over and we're probably already going down to make an abc or b probably down to like the 50 or maybe even the 61.8 before it heads back up and makes that wave c just like in a pattern that i was showing on the monthly time frame Heading down to the daily is where you can start to see this trend. It looks like a 1, 2, 3. This is probably a 4, and we're probably going to go down at least one more time to make a wave 5 of wave A before it makes a bigger move to the upside for the B, and then another downtrend for the C. A, B, C of B. So, keeping all that in mind, let's head down to the 4-hour time frame. 4-hour time frame is where you can start to see the trend within the trend. There's a trend for the 1. There's a WXY for the 2. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 3. I do believe that the wave 5 made a higher low than the wave 3 and that the wave 3 is over. This is probably an A, B, C of wave 4. Now, it did miss this 61.8, so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it did go back up and retest that level. But looking at some of these other dollar pairs, I also think there's a very good likelihood that we've already ended this wave C and that we're already heading back down to make this wave 5. Probably a wave 5 of wave A. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, I think this is a downtrend right here for the A. I think this is three waves up right there for the B. And this little move down right here is the wave C of wave B. Then it looks like a one, two, three, four, five right here. That's why I think this wave C is over because we have a break of Strutzer. This wave five did make a higher high. It looks like to me that is the end of a question and this probably is gonna continue the downtrend from here. All part of most likely a wave five of wave A, just like the patterns I was sewing on the longer time frames so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading